Today's the day. Today is the day of the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. If you're not familiar with the Fall Creators Update, it's a new update to Windows 10. The way Windows 10 works is it basically installs these giant updates as opposed to the previous mantra of service packs. So instead of having service pack 1, service pack 2, you just have new versions of Windows 10, mostly going under different builds. For example, my PC is currently running build 10240, which is the RTM of Windows 10 from 2015. Yes, I know. The latest version is 16299, so we're going to go ahead and update. And the reason is because the creator's update completely hates my PC. So I installed the RTM, and I've been using the RTM, and you can tell it's the RTM because these button labels are a little bit bigger than they are in all the later builds. So yes, this is indeed the RTM build that I'm upgraded directly to the Fall Creators update. And if I check for updates now, it'll actually try to install the Creators update, which I absolutely do not want. So what I did was I went into my services, completely disabled Windows Update, and as you can see, if I try to check for updates, it says retry. But don't worry, I've already installed all the latest security patches up until this point, so I am fully up to date on security patches, or at least the newest security patch that's available for the RTM. Which I believe, I'm not really sure when the RTM officially went out of support, but keep in mind, the RTM is out of support, and Windows 8.1 is still in support, yet Microsoft refuses to do anything with the MS account bug on 8.1. So I'm stuck on 10. So the next best thing is the RTM of Windows 10. So, okay, and now Windows Update randomly started working again, even though I specifically disabled it. But hey, it's installing an Office Update, so I don't really care. The point is, is that it's not installing the Creators Update. Because, probably because it's downloading this. So I guess, since it was downloading this, this probably told this thing, hey, you can check for other updates, it's okay, you don't need to have them disabled. Which I guess is good, because... I can't complain about an update for Office and for Windows Defender, since I do indeed use Windows Defender, as many people hate Windows Defender. And I just realized there's no icon in my system tray for me to actually look at. So that was a waste of time. So, uh, Windows Update is checking for updates, and it's already 12% downloaded. Ooh, restart required for updates. Ah, oh. see this is why I disabled it. Feature update to Windows 10, version 17.03. Oh god, this is not going to end well. So it wants me to restart for the creator's update, but I'm manually downloading the fall creator's update. So I'm just going to ignore the other one, and hopefully it won't force restart my computer while I'm trying to do this, because obviously this is newer, and I want this to install. Because today is Patch Tuesday, which means the fall creator's update has officially been released. Now, I made the mistake of doing it earlier in the day when it had not been updated, so I accidentally installed the Creators Update, which I absolutely do not want. And thankfully, I was able to revert it back to the way it was without it screwing up everything. The only thing is, is that it's, I'm probably going to lose Arrow Glass, because I have Arrow Glass installed on the RTM. It does not work on the Creators Update, so we'll have to see how that goes. So I will resume this video as soon as the Creators Update is downloaded and installed, and we can get back into it once this finishes. Still going along just fine. It's only been about like 10 minutes or so since I actually started this upgrade, um, which is probably a testament to my internet. Thanks, Mediacom. <sighs> so, this update shouldn't take too long, but it really depends on your internet access. But for the most part, I have a relatively fast internet. I don't know the actual up and down because I don't really care. I just know it works. But it seems to be going at a relatively steady pace, so... That's always nice to look forward to. Now it's actually in the process of updating Windows 10, which is good. So it's already been downloaded, and now it's just installing, well, I guess technically updating, and it's doing it fairly fast. So I guess we'll see what happens. Spoiler alert, it's going to install, and that's going to ask me to restart the computer, and then it's going to tell me to set it up. So that's what happens. That's a lot of money for camera equipment. I'm kidding, Brandon.
Well, it looks like the update's ready, so it's just a matter of pressing restart and we should be able to actually install this. Okay, it says you're about to be signed out. So I guess we'll go ahead and close out of this. And Discord. And it should log off. I guess it's not doing it for some reason. Anyways, there we go. Now it's restarting. And it should basically just restart as normal and then get us into the setup process for the Fall Creators update, which I've actually never seen before. So we'll have to see how this how this um, basically works, which I'm assuming would be very similar to every other build of Windows 10. They're just going to improve something or add something. I mean, that's usually how anything works, isn't it? And boom, there we go, working on updates. This will indeed take a while. So should I upgrade my Vista laptop to something like Windows 8? Um, still working on updates. Should I update this to Windows 8 or should I leave it on Vista? What do you guys think? I don't know, just a little intermission, why not? And success, welcome to Windows 10. This is pretty much exactly the same like we've seen in all previous versions of Windows. Um, but I mean, it's just pretty much basic. It gives you access to your Windows accounts. I do have a guest account on this machine, but I'm assuming it's not showing up because I'm the only administrator account. So I guess we'll just continue. And we have the one page privacy settings as usual. And of course, I'm gonna turn all of this garbage off because I don't want any of it. And no Cortana. And there we go. It seems to be where, oh. Uh, we have an incompatibility, incompatibility issue with Aero Glass. That's my microwave going off. I'm cooking a burrito. And okay, yeah, uh, this looks about right. So I guess we'll just sign in as usual. Hi. And this part's going to be very fast since I'm on an M.2 SSD. We've got some updates for your PC. Um, I thought I just installed all the updates. Oh, well, I guess this is probably when it installs like a couple patches, maybe some Windows Defender updates. Uh... Come on, hurry up. You're freaking draining my battery doing this crap. Let's start. Ooh, they added an exclamation point. Make it really fancy. Oh, of course, Microsoft Edge. Um, what? Okay, we have our first casualty. So it looks like the Fall Creators update is disabling my license. Well, that's just fine and dandy. Uh, okay, so... You know what? The, I'm not. I'm, okay. Here's my review of the Fall Creators update. I hope this thing actually works, unlike all the previous ones that kept having problems. And why is this not focusing? We'll close that for now. So yeah, Edge. Yeah, blah blah blah. Go away. Um. Okay, so that's broken. That okay? That's completely broken. Uh. Okay. So here's here's the thing. If this continues to work and it works, then you won't see a review. But I'm gonna title this as installation and review because my review of this is I hope it works. So, but you know, there are some improvements to the creator's update and I don't know what any of them are. Oh, there's a new search option. Okay, that's cool. Um, are there any other new fancy things? Okay, oh, phone, okay, that's nice. Okay, yeah, so there's probably a lot more new features. I didn't really look up. I didn't really care because I'm probably not going to use them anyway. Um, are there ads in the File Explorer? I heard some people saying there are ads in the File Explorer. I've never seen an ad in the File Explorer in my entire life. But it's there, I guess. So anyway, guys, it's that GTA Fan 720 signing out. Oh, yeah, and I forgot there's that little people thing in the taskbar. Um, your people. Okay, well, I don't know any people, so go away. Okay, anyway, guys, this is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed my video about the installation and review of the Windows 10 Fall Creators Updates build, whatever build it is. Anyway, guys, this is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you all have a good one.